All right, what's going on YouTube? So today I am replacing a fuel tank on a 2018 Honda CRV, and uh, you're probably wondering why am I replacing this uh, fuel tank? And the reason is um, thieves. <laughs> thieves are stealing your gas. They're drilling holes in your gas tank and stealing your fuel. Uh, it's it's more common now for people to steal your fee or steal your fuel than your cal converters. Uh, so yeah, be careful out there. So this is uh, you know insurance paying for a new fuel tank for this. So uh, yeah, so I got to do this. So uh, to get to the top of the fuel 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 tank, uh, there's there's two bolts. They're just 12 mils, right? And uh, yeah, one on that side, and the back seat should just lift right up. Kind of like magic seats, but uh, this one doesn't have magic seats, so I gotta get some bungee cords to hold this back seat up. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the back seat bungee cord. Hopefully, it doesn't fall on my head. Your uh, top of the fuel pump on the back of your CRV is just right here. Pretty easy to get at. There's three screws that I've already removed, you know, and then that just gives you access to the top of your fuel pump right here. So yeah, I mean, I think the we got a couple of yeah. So it's it, people stealing your fuel is getting is happening more often than uh, you think now, because uh, we actually got a few on our lot that's waiting for fuel tanks. It's getting kind of ridiculous, but there's your fuel pump. I'm gonna release the fuel pressure. There you go. Now I can go underneath and uh, drop the fuel fuel tank and uh, we got the new fuel tank in that box over there that big box so I'm gonna go underneath and uh, yeah drop the fuel tank now I got the fuel tank it looks like the filler neck is part of the fuel tank but if you look inside there are baffles I guess that's for uh, you know that to pre prevent from noise sloshing around there's baffles in there but this tank doesn't look very big so it looks like we're gonna have to Remove all this stuff, maybe the drive shaft, uh, this bar, and then we're gonna have to remove this wheel and fender liner to take out that filler neck. So it should be it. So let me get started here and start removing stuff. You wanna see where that hole is? It's right here, right on the uh, driver's side. It's pretty easy to access from, from the side here to drill a hole and it is steal your gas. So yeah. Here's your hole. And some of you are probably gonna say, hey, you can just probably epoxy that. I'm like, yeah, you can do that, but you know, it's not my money, it's insurance money. So <laughs> they say replace it, then replace it. All right, so I got the fender liner here out. I just disconnect all these bolts, right? There's one here, right? And this thing should just go right through the, uh, this rubber seal, so. But I still gotta disconnect the lower part here to get me more slack, but I'll probably do that when I get the tank out. So I got, you know, the drive shaft out, the diaper and the uh, heat shield out. Uh, everything looks pretty straightforward. Uh, there's this bar <laughs> that's supposed to protect, you know, in case you uh, hit something, but it's not going to protect you from thieves, I guess. Um, yeah, here's your tank straps. The heat shield that was here is gone. Um, I think the uh, the only thing is uh, trying to get that filler neck out. Uh, but yeah. This is actually like my first time doing this fuel tank and it's, it doesn't seem too bad. You just take things out in layers. It's probably not gonna be my last because <laughs> there's another one outside. But uh, just something to show you, uh, you know, this fuel tank, uh, the filler neck is one piece with the fuel tank. So in case something happens and it breaks, you're replacing the whole fuel tank. But yeah, just something, just something to note. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get myself a jack and uh, support the fuel tank and get the tank out probably disconnect some EVAP lines and stuff. So yeah, this is actually pretty simple. Fuel tank is pretty much out. I put it on jack stand, even though it's empty and it's pretty much light. Uh, I just wanted to put it on the stand just in case like stuff like this, I don't pull it and, and break it like these uh, EVAP lines. Or I can probably just disconnect it from here, like on this connector. But either way, I still have to get it off the fuel tank. Um, yeah, I'll work my way around. Yeah, I uh, end up cutting it because uh, I was trying to lift the whole tank out by myself. It wasn't that heavy, but I, I, yeah, but this thing just, I couldn't get it past it, but, you know, but it just barely fits through this hole. It's a pretty tight fit, so, yeah, I just cut it and then pulled it out the other side. Since I'm replacing it anyways, it doesn't really matter. Now we got the uh, tank out. We're going to do some transferring. Uh, to get this nut, there is a tool to get the fuel pump nut off. I can't tell what the part number is because it's all it's all worn out, but <laughs> there is a tool to get the nut off. Um, so 
got a new uh, new O-ring. The tank came with the new O-ring, so that gets transferred over, and uh, yeah, that should be it. Just get ready to put it back in. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, now that I got the uh, fuel pump and fuel line transferred over, there is a arrow for uh, this little notch here for your fuel pump to uh, line up to. Or if you, you know you can't get your uh, fuel line on, then uh, you probably don't have it in the correct position. Also, if uh, if your float is not facing this way, because because uh, the float's not going to move up and down on this side either. So yeah, now I'm just going to have to manhandle this whole thing up in there. Since it's uh, empty, I can just lift it up and then have somebody guide this pipe into that little tiny hole. All right, everything underneath is all put back together. Now we just got to situate the uh, filler neck that's over here. So I think I got to assemble something here. All right, guys, I, I kind of screwed up. I should have put this filler neck in in there first before I put the tank in and I bolted everything. I finished putting everything back together, but now, yeah, I gotta, I think I gotta drop the tank again slightly to get this filler neck back in. So I can't get that in there. So don't don't make the same mistake I did. Well, I guess that was, that's what happens when you make the filler neck one piece with the fuel tank. <laughs> All right, so I got the fuel filler neck situated. I also filled it up with gas. And I'm just gonna start it. Oh, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> there's no fuel in it, so I just gotta get rid of the air in the line. Let's try it again. There we go. Now that's running, I'm gonna run it to the operating temperature and uh, do the evap leak test. Make sure there's no evap leaks, and then uh, it should be good to go. So, yeah, just a little, put in like 20 bucks. 20 bucks doesn't get you much these days. <laughs> doesn't get you very much fuel so yeah i think that's it for the video thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you next time